Good afternoon, Scott. Brian Gallegos here from Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. I just wanted to reach out and say, first of all, thank you for your inquiry on the new Tahoe. Uh, I'm super excited to have the opportunity to work with you, earn your business. Wanted to shoot a quick video for you, uh, show you some of the fun features uh, in this vehicle. So we do have the forward parking sensors on this one, right? We're just gonna walk around a little bit. Now this one has the 5.3 V8, six-speed automatic transmission. Okay, we're gonna come around to the back. There's our rear parking sensors. One of the things that I love about these vehicles is that little cover right there. If we're not towing anything, we don't have that ball uh, attached to the hitch. We can cover it up and it just looks nice, clean, sleek, uh, a little bit more, a little bit more elegant. Uh, push that button on that little handle there, and we're gonna flip this open. Check out the back. So this one comes with the net, right? We've got a little additional storage space right here. Now another cool thing that I love about this is that with the push of a button, this back row seat goes down and up. Both of these do. Uh, and then we can push the same buttons over here and these middle seats are going to flip down there. They're not going to go up automatically, these middle ones, but we can't have everything. We're going to have to put those ones up manually. But I wanted to show you there's a decent amount of space back here, which is pretty neat. We'll flip that one back up. Ta-da! There's a button on the key fob that you can push twice or you can click this button right here. And that tailgate's going to come down automatically. Now let's cruise into the back seat. Let's check this out. This is pretty neat. So we got the captain's chairs in here, right? We got leather in here. These back seats in the middle row, not in the back back. Uh, sorry, folks in the back back uh, are heated. So we do have heated seats in this second row, which is super awesome. We also have 120 volt outlet right here, 12 volt outlet right here. And then one of my favorite features now, instead of the, uh, white, red, yellow, the little three cables that you plug in, it's HDMI. So you can, in theory, uh, if you're willing to, to house, I don't know where you'd find all the space for that with people, but you could put a PlayStation or an Xbox in here, plug it in, plug that into the HDMI, and have that available on that screen on the DVD player, or I guess media player now. <laughs> There's also climate control back here. Um, if you got kids and they're anything like my nephews, they like to push buttons and they like to spin dials. So the beauty of that is you can actually lock it from the front seat and I'll show you that in a minute. We got our blind zone monitors right here. So those sensors are gonna be right underneath those tail lights back there. They're gonna let anybody know if they're in our blind spot by uh, flashing a little light. You get the memory seats with this. You get the bows with this. So it's got a nice sound system in here. So if the kids are in the back watching a movie and you're okay with it, to, to, to turn that volume up, it's like having a having a theater on wheels, all right? Trailer brake controls right here. And you can adjust the gain using these two buttons right here. Here's our automatic lights, two wheel drive, automatic, four high, four low. We're all familiar with how that works. You can adjust the gas and brake pedals right here, which is nice. So the mirrors, the gas and brake pedals, as well as, there's a little dial right here, the steering wheel and the seat are all gonna be uh, part of those memory functions, which is super cool. Makes it, every time you get in and you start it with your key fob, it's gonna be exactly where you need it to be. That's the button for the parking sensors. You can shut that off if you don't like the beep beep. Um, here is our um, lane keep assist. So the car is gonna alert us if we start to go over the lines, um, if, we, uh, if we don't have our blinker on, okay? We got collision control on here as well as forward uh, automatic braking, so. The vehicle's smart, it doesn't want to get into an accident. It'll sense when a vehicle's in front of us, and if they slam on their brakes, the car's gonna warn us first. Little red lights, gonna go flash, flash. Radio shuts off, you're gonna hear a little beep. If you don't do anything, the car will react, because like I said, it's smart, it doesn't want to get into an accident. We've also got a heated steering wheel, and I will tell you what, that is the most pleasant thing on the, what's the temperature outside right now? Like 37 degrees? Yep, uh, <laughs> it gets a little chilly this time of the year, doesn't it? And that heated steering wheel is gonna come in super handy. I absolutely love that. This is neat too. So this right here is gonna show us what the speed limit is on the road we're currently traveling, which is nice. And then you've got obviously your speedometer right next to it. And we can scroll through here. We can see trip A, trip B. We can see our fuel range. We got 60 miles till we're empty. We got our engine oil life, tire pressure sensor on each tire, average fuel economy. If we scroll to the left, 
We can mess around with our audio phone and navigation settings all right from there. And if we scroll to the right, we can turn that speed sign off if you don't like it. And that's using this directional pad right here. Now you do have the hands-free calling on these two buttons right here. So when you pair your phone via Bluetooth, you can hit that button, say, call mom, call Jim. I don't know if you know a Jim, but if you do, you can call him. Uh, <laughs> you can also say directions to the nearest gas station. Uh, you can say call and then the number that you want to call, 218-259-2282. That's my number. Give me a call. Uh, this projection button, when you plug your phone into the USB port right here or right here, you hit that button, then we're going to have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So this is going to act as a second phone screen for you, give you access to Google Maps, to text messages, to all sorts of fun, neat features. And then there's our video spot right there. So you can just slide the DVD right in there. Another cool thing that I like about this. Oh, <laughs> you plug your phone in right there for that Android Auto or that Apple CarPlay. Instead of having a bunch of cords hanging out, you just tuck your phone right in there. because You don't need it anymore. Push this button, flip that screen down, flip that screen over to your second phone screen. And bingo, bango, you are on your way. We do have heated seats in the front uh, driver and passenger, uh, as well as the back, like I mentioned earlier. And here's that button. So those kids are pushing buttons. You just go, no, no more. I'm controlling your climate. I'm deciding now. Or if you want to give them the option, boom, just like that. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty intuitive. You got dual climate control in here. So I got it set at Let's do 70 degrees because it's a little chilly outside, but the passenger had it set on low because they were running a little hot, but now I don't have a passenger. So instead of sitting here and turning that dial, turning that dial, I just push that sync button. It's going to sync automatically to what the driver setting is, which is also very awesome, very convenient. They're making these things just super user friendly, which I like. We're going to scroll around into here. <clears throat> you can see this is where the uh, headphones are for the uh, DVD player. Okay. A couple more USB ports as well as an auxiliary right there, 12 volt outlet right there. And then one of my favorite features, hi. If you got kids in the back that are getting a little uh, a little squirrely, a little riled up, you can say, Johnny, you'd be nice to Ashley. You'll say, but I'm not doing anything. You say, yes, you are, I'm watching you, be nice, okay? <laughs> and then we've got our sunglasses holder right here, okay? There's our slide. So we got a sunroof in here. Oh, nice, look at that. The sun might come out again today. You know what they say about Utah? If you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes. So I got the slide option, that little bug shield pops up. We've also got the tilt option right here. Anyways, I'm rambling. I can go on forever. I really like these Tahoes, they're super neat. Uh, tons of space, super convenient, uh, and you can tow stuff. So win, 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 right? Anyways, uh, Brian Galagos, Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. Uh, I'd love to invite you down to the dealership. Come take a look. Come take a test drive. And uh, we'll hopefully we'll see you real soon. Appreciate your time. Bye-bye.